everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel So Little Time and my name is Karen. So I hope you're all doing really well and thank you very much for joining me today. Today's video is an introduction about a new sewing challenge that's going to be taking place throughout the month of October. Myself and Becky from Notes for Sewing Room have joined forces to bring this challenge to you and we're really excited to share all the details and are really hoping that you will want to take part. We also have a number of vloggers who will be doing a vlog hop tour throughout the month of October, where they'll be uploading a video every single day in October, basically sharing what their plans are for this challenge. So before I go into it, I just want to say, if you've not heard of Becky before, um, I will link her channel in the description box below. So please do go and check her out and have a look at her previous videos. You will see that she has done a number of upcycling projects in the past, and she has made a number of garments from using something else, um, like tablecloths, old charity shop um, garments, and that kind of thing. So I've really been inspired by what she's made in the past, and she does um, attend quite a few different festivals, and she's made things specifically for that as well. It has been something that I've really wanted to do for myself, um, but I've never really got round to it, although I do have a couple of garments upstairs that I have been intending to upcycle and alter um, into something that's a little bit more wearable for me. So I'm hoping that this challenge will get me to do that. So there are some rules for this challenge, which I will go through, but I will insert the graphic here for you to have a look at. So basically we are asking you to go away and to find something to use to make into a wearable garment. Now it doesn't have to be for yourself, it can be for a family member, a friend, um, we are asking that you don't make anything for any pets, um, it does need to be for a human being, um, but it could be for a child, it doesn't have to be for an adult or anything like that. So um, in the past I have upcycled a skirt which I bought from a charity shop and I made it into a little girl's dress and I have actually got a video all about that so I will link a card up above just in case you wanted to have a look through that because I basically take you from the charity shop through the whole making up of the dress it's a bit like a tutorial style to the finished garment at the end so I know um, perhaps buying something from a charity shop um, you might want to leave the larger sizes there for people who need them, but you don't necessarily have to use a larger size to get fabric um, to make something. I used a size 8 skirt to make that little girl's dress, um, and that was adequate. Um, you could also use some old curtains, a tablecloth, um, an old ready-to-wear garment that you may already have in your wardrobe that you're just not wearing, or an old make that you've made and again you're not wearing you could upcycle that so there are numerous options that you can you know use to make an upcycled garment so um, what we're asking you to do is to reveal your make on Instagram on the 31st of October using the hashtag so upcycle 22 and then tagging myself at so dot little dot time and also Becky from notes for sewing room as well and I will put her handle across the bottom of the screen for you so Unfortunately, if you don't have an Instagram account, then you won't be able to sort of um, showcase your finished garment on the 31st um, and you won't be in with a chance of being able to win a prize. We have a number of companies that have come forward and have generously donated some really lovely prizes for us to use at the end of the month. So what we'll be doing is entering everybody into that um, as like a random number generator uh, prize giveaway I suppose so we're not going to be selecting people's garments um, specifically we just thought it would be easier to put everybody into a hat we may use categories and um, we will see how we go and it just depends what people sort of um, upload and what they make what we also need you to do as well is to show what you're going to be using before you actually turn it into something else so we can see if you've used curtains a tablecloth an old garment um, I don't know anything really, but we just want to see a before and an after photo, if that makes sense, just um, so we can see what you've used. And if you do want to show um, progress shots of what you're making throughout the month of October, then please use the hashtag SewUpCycleWhip, W-I-P, just sort of work in progress um, pictures. So just so it's easier then for when it comes to selecting the winners, it's easier just to go through the SewUpCycle hashtag um, 22 you know, when we come to pick the winners. Right, so that is basically what the challenge entails. I really hope that you are just as excited as we are and would really like to take part. If you're somebody that's not on Instagram, then please do feel free just to join in for fun. Um, it might be just a little challenge for you to see what you can come up with. Um, I'm really excited to 
have a go with this. Like I said, I've got a couple of dresses upstairs that I would really like to turn into a more wearable garment for myself. And um, so I'm hoping this will give me the push that I need. I am a little bit of a procrastinator when it comes to something that I'm not 100% comfortable with. I think I'm a little bit worried about cutting into it and then just making a complete error with it all and it just being wasted. But yeah, hopefully it will, you know, play in my favour and get me to finish it. Um, so yes, that is basically everything that I need to talk to you about today. We are really excited to see what everybody is going to be coming up with. I'm so excited to see everybody's plans throughout the vlog hop tour in October. So if you are a vlogger and you aren't on the list already and would like to be, then please do contact myself or Becky and I will put our details in the description box below for you and we'll happily add you on. We do have um, some days where there are two vlogs being uploaded just because we've got more than 31 vloggers who are taking part. So yeah, please do feel free to contact us if you would like to be part of it. Um, so I think that's basically everything that I need to talk to you about at the moment. And uh, we look forward to um, seeing what everybody comes up with and uh, taking part within this challenge. So thank you ever so much for watching today. Please do give me that all important like and subscribe if you've not already done so. That would be amazing. And I shall look forward to seeing you very soon. Take care. Bye.